Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of diffraction. So generally, the people used to pronounce this as a diffraction or some people used to pronounce it as a diffraction. Okay. So anyway, in the previous videos, we have discussed certain topics under uh, the wave optics like interference. Now, here we are discussing about the diffraction. Okay. So what is meant by diffraction? So what is meant by a diffraction basically? So generally, one says the diffraction is nothing but it is the bending of light around an obstacle. It is a bending of light, bending of light around an obstacle. Okay. So obstacle. So how about this obstacle? So that is just, I mean, uh, we have to understand. So what type of obstacle is that? Okay. So anyway, first we see here, this statement gives a bending of light around an obstacle. Fine. So just take an example. Just we'll take an example. Say for example, this is a sun rays. Okay. So this may be a sun. Say you take this is sun. The rays are coming from the sun. So there may be obstacle. So just like you can take an obstacle uh, like this. So it may be a hill, right? So what you can take, there may be a multiple of hills like this. So you can take a, an observer. You can take an observer. So somewhere a person, he may be staying at here. Okay. So if you take his observer, who is observing the sunlight? What is happening basically? So the rays which are falling on one side will not be will not be observed by the observer. So it appear, it is a, a shadow, right? So it, it's completely it will not observe here. But whereas what happened when the rays which are falling on the edge edge of the hill? Okay. So it, if it is falls on the edge of the hill, then what is happened when it is falls on the edge of the hill? Obviously, the rays which are falling, it will not be actually it will become a scatter into multiple directions. Just we know them. So just basically why I have taken this example is for our uh, natural understanding. So what is basically happening when the sunlight is there, when it is falling on the edge of the hill, say basically it is a where it happens uh, during sunrise or sunset. You can see if you are uh, nearer to any obstacle like a hills. So when it is falling on the edge of the obstacle, a part of the rays will be reflected back and the part of the rays will be going in multiple multiple directions. Nothing but it is a scattering. But what is what can be observed? If you focus, you can see here from this edge, some amount of rays will reach towards to the observer. So what is happened basically when it is reaching towards to observer? So there is a particular amount of bending is taken place. This particular amount of bending is reaching towards to the observer. This is basically a bending nature. Okay. But, but if you take a other kind of a source, if you take a other kind of a source, you can take a source and there may be a sharp edge for that particular source. Then, so there may be a ray, a parallel beam of ray, which is falling on this edge. So you can take this is a knife edge knife edge so it is a edge of the knife right so when the light is falling for example if you take the light which is coming from this direction from left to right so this light which is falling on the edge of the knife what happens basically suppose actually there is a a shadow region of this one this hole is the shadow 
for this particular knife okay but what happens say for example here may be the screen but what do you observe basically when the light is falling on this head on this edge that means you should have an understanding that it is not only one ray there are multiple rays which are falling coming from the left side and which are falling on the which are falling on the knife okay so what happens basically whichever except this ray if they are falling on the knife so it is not coming into the other side whereas the ray which we have taken at the top this ray is bending into the shadow region shadow region of the obstacle so how it bends because as we have discussed uh, i mean just now when we have taken the sunlight and it is falling on the edge of the hill it is bending towards to the observer so the same way this is what uh, i mean this is where we are observation this is what the shadow region or you can say take it is a geometrical shadow geometrical shadow of this particular obstacle so now what happened here what happened here the penetration of light into the geometrical shadow of an obstacle so the penetration of light into the geometrical shadow of an obstacle is also called as a diffraction okay so earlier we have discussed diffraction is nothing but a bending of light around an obstacle now again we are telling the diffraction is nothing but penetration of light where to where to the geometrical shadow of the obstacle so in that way you can able to define the diffraction so the technically if you want to write an ex in, a, in a examination or in a, any kind of a other competitive exams there may be a word of penetration of light into the geometrical shadow of the obstacle so that is what the diffraction okay so why it is entering into the shadow of the obstacle because of the bending okay so in that way you should have a an understanding of uh, what is meant by the diffraction okay then again there is another definition for this diffraction which is that is basically diffraction which is nothing but it is the mutual it is the mutual interference mutual interference of secondary wavelets a mutual interference of a secondary wavelets that means diffraction can be represented can be represented with the interference so how it is happening there is a mutual interference is happening how this mutual interference is happening that we will see that mutual interference of what secondary wavelets okay secondary wavelets basically what happens as we know so suppose if you take an example suppose you take an example of light which is going like this okay if you take a light a parallel beam of light which is falling on the slit you take a one slit take an example it is a single slit experiment okay so you take a one slit then in the one slit what is it basically happening we know that the light which is falling on the uh, slit where the slit is considered into n number of points so within the slit there are what n number of points so each point is acting as a source of the secondary wavelet okay what i am telling to what i am trying to tell you each point in the uh, actually we are dividing n number of slits 1 to n within the within the slit n number of points within the slit so each point is acting as a each point is acting as a source of what secondary wavelet okay this is what basically huygens principle says every point on the wave front is acting as a source of secondary wavelets nothing but say for example say there may be a wave front like this for this wave front you have to take number of points 
as per Huygens principle, every point on the wave front is acting as a source of secondary wavelets. Nothing but it will be like this. It will be like this. Okay, it will be like this. Now, there is a beautiful definition. What is meant by the wave front? The wave front is nothing but this envelope of the secondary wavelets. Envelope of secondary wavelets. Nothing but you see there is a wave front. The next wave front is coming due to the envelope of the secondary wavelets. Okay, so in that way there is a wave front and the wavelet. And again the, those envelope of secondary wavelets are again the next wave front. Okay, so in that way one must understand the difference between the wave front and wavelet. Okay, so if this is a case, now suppose this we have taken the wave front which is coming from the point source, whereas the wave, uh, whereas if you take a light is coming from far distance, nothing but you are supposed to take them as the, there is a parallel beam of parallel beam of light is coming. If the parallel beam of light is coming, you know that there is a parallel beam of rays like this. These are the parallel beam of rays. Nothing but for them, wave front is normal to that. Like this, the wave fronts. So this normal, normal, uh, normal to this rays are representing the wave fronts. Nothing but here there is a wave front here from here to here. So whatever that uh, slit size is occupied by the wave front. Which wave front? A parallel beam of wave front. So within that wave front, what are there? There are number of points are there. As like we have discussed. So nothing but there are number of points. 1 to n number of points are there. So if 1 to n number of points are there, then again this each point is acting as a source of secondary wavelet. So if the each point is acting as a secondary, I mean source of the secondary wavelet, then they have to interfere. If they, if they interfere, then only there is a diffraction. Okay. So, so how it is happening that we can see. Say for example, for example, you take there is a screen here, there is a screen here, then there are number of points. You can take say one point at the top, say that maybe you may take they may be uh, reaching to the point P here, the other one which may be coming from the down and reaching to the point P. Okay, so like this, I have taken example only there are two points, these two points are acting as a sources of the secondary wavelets. So these secondary wavelets, further they are traveling, traveling some unequal distances and they are getting superposed, nothing but they are getting interfere. Okay, so what happens here? There is a pattern of diffraction here. Okay, so but what basically is happened? There is a screen, on the screen you are observed the diffraction pattern. But this diffraction pattern is observed because of the mutual interference of the secondary wavelets. That's why we are telling this diffraction in either you may be representing the bending of light around an obstacle or you may be representing it is the mutual interference of secondary wavelets or you may be representing the penetration of light into the geometrical shadow okay, of an obstacle. So this is what basically a, a very important one must understand what is meant by the diffraction. Okay. So in the next video we will discuss what are the different types of the refractions. Okay?